Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. The late January update has dropped for Animal Crossing New Horizons. So I am here to showcase you all the items. Like I did for the winter update, I know how much you guys like that video, so I hope you guys like this one just as much. And as you can see, I'm holding the Maracas, I believe it's called, which is the first item of the update that you will get in your mail after you download the update. If you don't know how to do that, you go to your homepage, you press the plus button on your right Joy-Con, and you do software update via the internet, and it'll tell you if an update is available, and you just download it. You will get this cute little instrument in your mail. So a little agenda, we're just going to touch on the few items. I'm going to go through some of the seasonal items in Nook Shopping, tell you how to obtain the items, show you kind of variants, customizations, and we'll go from there. So right after you get the update, if you go to your Nook Shopping app or if you still need to go to your kiosk and you go to Special Goods on the rightmost tab where it says Seasonal, you will be able to get a few things. Uh, a bean tossing kit, which is a tradition in Japan, I believe, to scare away like monsters and bad omens. A Rossetti model, which if you've played prior Animal Crossing games, you'll be familiar with this little guy. A football chair megaphone which obviously is for uh, the Super Bowl celebration if you're in America, as well as a football rug. And I'll show you these items just in a little bit, but for the football cheer megaphone, there are four variants and it will change every day in your Nook shopping. So definitely uh, don't forget to check that every day. And it tells you on the upper left-hand corner what these item, when these items are available until. Now, something that we did not know about and they did not hint at in the trailer is there is a new recipe you can get from Pascal. So you're going to have to go diving and spoiler alert for items in a second. You're going to have to go diving. And if you are lucky enough, if you when you get the scallop, Pascal might appear uh, maximum times of once a day and he will grace possibly grace you with a recipe for this Beautiful, beautiful mermaid fence right here. It took me two tries the first time he gave me a pearl. But the second time he did give me this mermaid fence recipe, which I think this is absolutely beautiful. It goes perfect with my little mermaid boardwalk over here, although I do kind of prefer it to be open. But I need to find a place to use this beautiful DIY. But that's another, that's a separate video. Let me show you what is required to get uh, to make the mermaid DIY. A stack of mermaid fence or 10 fencing will cost you one pearl, five coral, and five sand dollars. Let me know what you guys think of this in the comments down below. I think it looks pretty awesome. I cannot confirm whether the mermaid recipe only is able to be attained after February 1st, as many of the items we will be discussing um, you will, re will require you to time travel to February 1st, but I don't believe so since this isn't festival, uh, festival based. Let me know in the comments below if you went diving before February 1st and was able to obtain the recipe. So if you're a tr traditional player, you wait until, oh my gosh, I didn't even notice that resident services was decorated. So if you're a traditional f player, on February 1st, you'll be able to obtain a few items. First of all, go in your Nook shop. As you can see, the festival items, one at a time, will be available in the seasonal slot, and it is limit one per purchase starting February 1st. This is Meryl from the future here. So I logged onto my other island to show you guys how to purchase the reactions from the cabinet. And to my shock, I see this thing in the store. And my understanding was everybody had all the items in green in their stores, but it looks like, depending on your island, you may just, you may just get a random coloration of items. Um, I need to time travel to confirm this, but let me know what color items you're seeing in your stores if you've been time traveling already. After you purchase your first item, he will inform you there are new reactions available in the Nook's cabinet. If you go to the cabinet here, the Viva Festival reaction set is 19,800 bells. And it's only available until February 15th, just like the other festival items. Before I show you the reactions, let me show you how the megaphone works. So as you can see, 
I am standing next to two other variants of the megaphone and one more is on the stall next to Mr. Rossetti. But if you interact with it, this is what you do. Which is an interesting little uh, animation, I think. So if we zoom in here, you have the fiery megaphone. You have the star one on the far left. You have this one that looks like a football. I, I, I can't spin it while the camera is open, so it'll have to be small for you guys. You can see it all, almost looks like an NFL logo on there. And then lastly, you have this glittery blue megaphone, which matches perfectly with my outfit right now. And this is the Mr. Rossetti statue you can obtain from Nook Shopping. And also, one more item you obtain from Nook Shopping is the beans. And here is the animation for the beans. Kind of, kind of weak on like the number of beans in my opinion. It's so interesting, it lets you interact with it while in camera mode, which I'm not complaining about. But yeah, you can see there's a few little beans you toss. I will show you the football rug once we go inside the house at the end. Okay, so let's talk reactions. So you just purchased these reactions from Nooks and here are here they are. Oh man, does Marshall want to leave on while I'm recording? I've actually been wanting to get rid of him. Yay! Good luck with that. The first reaction is called Confetti, so you're kind of tossing with your right hand, left and right, alternating. I wonder how long it lasts. I guess forever. Okay, that's cool. And the next one is Viva. This is the one the center character was doing in the trailer. Cut, pretty cool. Okay, let me take this obnoxious eye mask off. I know it's being funny, but for reaction purposes, you want to see like what they're what her facial expression is, right? Cute. Okay. So this is Viva. Seems like you're one of those uh, festival dancers. I can see a lot of cool custom designs for festival related clothing coming up now. So let's go. Okay, so we saw this in the trailer as well. She kind of tells you to come and then jumps on one foot. Feeling it. All right, so this is the little dance move. I believe this is also the move that the villagers were doing in the trailer. So I was correct on that prediction. So what do you guys think of the reactions? Let me know in the comments down below. All right. Drum roll, please. We are finally ready to get to the festival items you got a little sneak peek of over here. So you can, as you can see, there are nine festival items and you will be able to get a new item in your Nook shopping every day and it is limit one per purchase. So unless your friend doesn't want to purchase what's in their store, you won't be able to uh, have multiple people purchase it that way. So if we start on the left right here, this is called the Festival Parasol, which looks pretty cool. It's like a very high umbrella. And just you guys wait until you see the customizations for these things. And over here, we have what they call the Festival Stage. So um, of course, it is, it is not a rug. They did not patch us being able to put rugs outdoor in this update. And the lights are actually part of the item as opposed to what I thought they were green floor lights. And, the, and the feathers flutter if you kind of walk through it, which is pretty cute. And over here we have the festival stall. Where right now I have Mr. Rossetti and a blue megaphone on it. So it's like a regular stall with this... Guys, if you have like a tropical island, you are dying right now because this is all perfect for you. Okay, so the next one right here is the festival drum. I don't know if I can interact with it. See, I can't interact with it with the camera on, but the super cute little drum thing that you can play. 
And over here we have the Festival Balloon, which is very big and high. And this little teepee thing is actually called a Festival Garland. Oops. So a little cute decoration. And then over here to the right you have a Festival Flag. And right here you have the Festival Floor Lamp, which you can turn on and off. Let me actually move this out of the way so I can interact with it without blocking it. And then to the right here you have a Festival Confetti Machine that you can interact with. It's currently on right now and it just blows out confetti. And if you interact with it again, it'll turn off. And there you have it. That is all nine festival items. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring these to a customization table and show you guys the colors. I think you'll be excited because I was. Similar to uh, the spooky items in Halloween, as you can see, there's a little leaf next to the festival items, which means you're going to need leaves to customize um, the items as opposed to customization kits. So let's start with the stage and every item will have the same color variants. And the festival stage requires two rainbow uh, feathers to customize. And the color variations are green, red, blue, purple, and rainbow. I think they all look fantastic. Do you guys agree? Yes or no? And I haven't played Animal Crossing. I haven't played a previous Animal Crossing game before and I my understanding is it used to be if you got feathers for Pascal he would give you the furniture items so I'm assuming now you give him feathers and then he gives you rainbow feathers maybe so you can customize these items and but also I did see a um, a time locked item which we'll get to at the end of this peacock looking thing so I'm assuming that might be the ultimate reward for doing um, festival so these are the color variants so now I'm just going to go through the other items to show you their color variants look at that fiery red for the stall and even the patterns change like you have the kind of tribal green looking triangles and then you have a fiery red and then like a very calm oceanic maybe blue uh, purple flowers which looks super girly and very spring like and then the rainbow zigzag. I like them all. I can't decide which ones. But, and I'll talk more about this later. Unfortunately, these items, although you bought from Nooks, are not orderable. I repeat, you cannot order more of these items. So if you want, say, like the stall in every color variant, you're going to have to do some trading or you're time traveling and buying items. These items do stop getting sold in that time slot. Um, after February 15th. So here are what the different drum colors look like. Again, just consistency with the pattern. Wow, I think that purple looks so cute with like the pink wooden drums. And I'm a sucker for rainbow. Like I love the pastel look. What color variant is you guys' favorite so far? So here is the balloon lamp. And the garland. the parasol and um, you can also see they all seem to need rainbow feathers for customization but some items need a few more rainbow feathers than others it seems to be one is the consensus but the bigger items that we saw were two this almost looks phoenixy to me like this festival lamp in red well I really like this purple one Let me know where you guys think you'll be putting these items on your island and what colors you'll be using. As you can see, the Rossetti model is not customizable. Now we've gone through all the Festival furniture items. The next thing we're going to go through is clothing items. As, I, as you can see, I have a Festival dress as well as a headpiece on that we saw in the trailer. The ballet shoes and the tights are my own that I just decided to pair with. 
And when February 1st rolls around for you, your Ables will have on rotation the Festival clothing items. So again, there are four different colors for everything similar to the furniture set. You have your Festival accessory in orange, green, and purple, and blue that I had on originally. And here is what the dress looks like in the different colors. Here is the orange, the green, and the purple. And the, this is the Festival costume, the pants set. So it was a set, not a jacket and pants separate. And again, that appears in the same color variants um, in blue, green, orange, and purple. You also have the ogre costumes. They come with matching masks. Look at that. Look at that horned ogre mask. And this comes in blue, red, as well as green. I'm referencing something that shows me you are going to have leaves in blue, purple, red, and green, as well as rainbow. Yet, every item needed the rainbow leaf, rainbow feather to be customized. Different than when it was Halloween where you needed like the green pumpkin to customize something green, etc. So there has to be some sort of trade with Pascal. And there's also a mask, which I will insert a picture of that you can purchase from Abel's as part of this update as well. No shoes are part of the update. So any shoes you saw in the trailer were already there, old shoes. Last but not least, as promised, here is what the football rug looks like. I think it looks pretty cool. Let me change the flooring to a lighter color just so you can kind of see it pop a little more. All right, so let's talk about what items are orderable. So if I type in festival here, As you can see, all the clothing items, like the accessory, the costumes, are orderable, but the furniture items are not. So definitely keep that in mind if you want multiples of some item, whether it be visiting a friend's island or buying it on Nookazon. And of course, there are some time-locked items I will insert a picture of here to talk about. So there are four variants of the chocolate heart box this like red, brown, white, and pink. I wonder when they will have that available. I wonder if they will be orderable through Nook Shopping starting February 1st in real time. And there is this like Chinese New Year wall decoration. And then there are six variants of the heart bouquet, the heart rose bouquet, red, pink, yellow, purple, white, and black, which all look pretty good. And then they have a few Chinese New Year's items like the red envelope, which is traditionally used to put in cash uh, for parents to pass on to their children. And a blue like money pouch thingy. And that's pretty much it for this update. Let me know if you guys are excited, disappointed. Um, if you know of something I didn't cover, please do leave them in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing for more Animal Crossing content. Thank you so much. Have a good night.